Hello, this is Ray Dickinson, and I welcome you to this video demonstration of endpoint data protection for virtual desktop infrastructure clients. Many of you understand that virtual desktop infrastructure allows enterprise IT organizations to host Windows desktop images running in a hypervisor in the corporate data center and then deliver these desktops to remote users working at home, on the road, or in branch offices. One of the advantages of this model is your company data remains inside the corporate data center even as it is being worked with by remote users. Today I will quickly show you how your corporate data can be stolen even if your employees and contractors are using a VDI solution. I will then show you how your data can be protected in these same circumstances. Okay, here I am on the home PC getting ready to log in and get some work done. I'll launch my browser and go to the Citrix web interface where I'll log in. These are my enterprise domain credentials that IT gave me. I get logged in. I see my virtual desktop is there. It launches. Once that launches, now I'm basically I'm at work and I'm going to open up this spreadsheet here that's got some sensitive customer data. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to update this credit card number here. Don't bother writing this down. It's not a real credit card number. I just want to generate some data in this spreadsheet. And if I close the spreadsheet and save it, that gets saved in the corporate data center. And that's a good thing because the sensitive data never comes down to my local PC. Or does it? Let me disconnect here, come back to my home PC desktop, and I'll show you that I've got a keylogger running here. Now this is a commercial off-the-shelf keylogger that I've installed as part of this demo, but it has the same features of data stealing malware. It'll capture keystrokes, it'll capture screenshots, it'll send this data off via FTP or email to a remote collection server. Uh, let's see what it captured during this session. If I open the log viewer, I can look at the visual log, and these are the screenshots that the keylogger captures. So you can see here it sees me pulling up the browser, going to the Citrix web interface. If I click here, it'll enlarge the screenshot. So here you can see the keylogger is capturing me at the moment I logged into the Citrix web interface. If I close the visual log and go to the textual log at that moment, you can see here is the username and password I used to log in. Now remember, this is my enterprise domain credentials that I'd use for webmail, maybe logging into the VPN or the corporate intranet site. So this is a serious breach of data right here. But let's see what else we've got. If we go to the visual log and continue, if you see me log in, starting up my uh, remote session, here I am, I'm opening up the spreadsheet. If I expand the screenshot here, you can see it took a picture of that sensitive corporate data, sensitive customer data, that's bad. And here I am going to change that uh, credit card number. If I close that, if I go to the textual log here, here's the credit card number that I typed in. So this keylogger captured everything I did while I was at work, both uh, taking pictures and keystrokes. And so this is a serious breach of data. Now, let's see what happens if I step through this scenario again, but use Safe Central. I'm going to clear out the keylogger log, and then I'm going to hide it away and go on to the next part of the demo. Okay, here I am again on the employee PC, but this time I've got Safe Central installed. I'm going to run through the same scenario again, but this time I'll use Safe Central. Just to confirm for you, I still do have the keylogger running here. I'm going to just hide that away and let it record what we're doing this time as well. Uh, Safe Central gives me a desktop shortcut here, and when I double click on this shortcut, it takes me to the Safe Central secure desktop. This is a small, lightweight desktop delivered as part of the Safe Central install. There's no extra hypervisor running here. This is just a safe location that I can use to launch work sessions, including VDI. Uh, the browser here, this is the Safe Central secure browser. It's delivered also as part of the install. It's a lockdown version of Firefox. Uh, even if I've already got Firefox installed on my PC, Safe Central will give me this one, but it installs it in a separate location and locks it down against tamper proofing. So I'm going to launch the same Citrix session here. Let me log in. Once I log in, I see the same uh, virtual desktop that opens up. 
Once I get logged in here, I see the same uh, PC at work. I'm going to open up the spreadsheet. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to drop this user's balance here by half. Let me just close out of the spreadsheet now. I'm done with my work. I'm going to save it here into the, the virtual machine. Now I'm going to disconnect again. This brings me back to the uh, Safe Central Secure Desktop. Now I'm going to switch back to my regular desktop. I've got this button down here. I can actually switch back and forth between my own desktop and the secure desktop. But let me get back here because I want to see the uh, key logger here. Uh, open up the log viewer and let's look at the visual log. So you can see it did start taking screenshots as it did before. Let me expand this up here because I was talking at this point about Safe Central. Uh, I, my, I moved the mouse cursor. I think I proved the keylogger was still running. I hid that away again. Now you can see I'm getting ready to go into Safe Central. So what does the very next screenshot show? Okay, it shows Safe Central launching, but then it just shows the regular desktop again. I continue clicking. I'm only going to see the regular desktop and the keylogger here. In fact, here you can see if I click back, I've got the mouse cursor over this button because I'm showing you how I can switch back and forth between Safe Central and the regular desktop, but nothing was captured at all here. I close the keylogger, go to the textual log up here. I'm looking down here. This is where the keystroke captured keystrokes are shown. As I click from each window here, you'll see nothing down on the bottom. You'll just see my own desktop a couple of times. You'll see the keylogger itself, but you'll never see my credentials or what I typed into the spreadsheet at work. So this was a demonstration of secure remote access to VDI using Safe Central. Thank you very much for watching this demo today and to find out more please visit safecentral.com and click on the enterprise link. Thank you very much.